Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at another rule that we use when dealing with logs. It's called the change of base. This allows you to actually use your calculator to find approximations for some logarithms that you're asked to simplify or evaluate. What the rule says is that if you have log of base a to some power of x, that could be rewritten by changing both the power of x and the base of a to a new base of log, which we will call b. So some new base. And the idea is we take the log of the power and we divide it by the log of the original base. Both of those things, again, keep in mind, we're simply looking for rewriting it with a new base for each log. So there's a way to remember it. It's the log of the number over the log of the base. However, I think of it as the log of the big number over the log of the little small base number. There's the proof of how we could do that. It follows the same structure as relabeling and then applying the definition of logs. It's something there for you to have a look at. So let's have a look at some examples. Here, you need to remember that the calculator work we do, we have two log buttons. We're either using log, which has the implied base of 10, or you could using the natural log, which is an implied base E. As long as you're using the same button for numerator and denominator, then you should be okay. So here, using your calculator to evaluate some of these to two decimal places, well, the first thing you need to do is rewrite it using the base uh, change. So that's log of 9 over log of 4. And here I've written log. So in the calculator, I'll use the log button. And typing that in exactly the same way should give you 1.584962, etc. This question has asked for two decimal places. So that's 1.58. In part B, we do the same thing. And for those of you who want to use the natural log button, that will be the same thing as lin 200 or log of 200 over natural log of 9. Yes, it's written lin ln. However, we still read it as a log. Again, typing that in the calculator and rounding to two decimal places is as straightforward as 2.41. Here, the first thing we want to do is we want to consider that when we're using the change of base, it only applies to the log component. So any coefficient will just stay as a coefficient. So this is the same as 2 times log of 23.4 all over log of 54. And as long as you type it exactly like this in the calculator, there should be no issues. And that should round to 1.58 correctly to two decimal places. Likewise, for part D, we're applying the log change of base law just to the log component. So that 7 and the minus stays as they are for the time being. And rewriting this as log of 108 divided by log of 7. Again, straightforward calculator work should give you 4.59. Let's have a look at some slightly harder questions. Here we're asked to solve these equations to two significant figures. There's two ways of doing this. I'll show you both methods for the first example, and then we'll stick with one method for the remainder. Feel free after the first example to pause the video, have a go at B, C, and D on your own, and then come back to see how they're done. So the first thing we know so far is that when I have an expression or an equation such as 7 to the power of x is 14, we could use the log definition, BAP, to rewrite this. Well, rewriting this would be log of base 7 of 14 would equal to x. So using the change of base for the log component, that would be the same as log of 14 over log of 7 equal x. Typing all the stuff that's on the left-hand side into the calculator should give you an x value of 1.3562 and a few numbers to follow. This question had asked for two significant figures. So remember, that's the first two non-zero numbers. So we're really dealing with just these two numbers here. This number tells me whether I need to round up. 
I ignore anything else. So this becomes 1.4 to two decimal places. I'll do the second method just on the side in a different colour. So again, looking at part A, whenever you have something like this, log is what allows us to calculate for x. So given that our equation is 7 to the power of x equals 14, we could log both sides. By logging both sides, what that does is it actually brings the power down. So when I log both sides, that gives me a x log 7 equals 14. So the power, sorry, log 14. So by logging both sides, the power comes down, and then we have log of the 7 and log of the 14. Normal algebra work, take the log 7 to the other side as a divide, because it's currently being multiplied here. So divide by log 7. Again, straight into the calculator, you could see that that's the same expression here that we had here. So we would get exactly the same answer. I tend to use this second example. So you might want to have a go at doing part B, C and D on your own first and getting your answers and we'll come back and see them. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go at some of these, going through these answers quickly. So let's have a look at part B. I'll change again to that purple. Logging both sides, that would give me that x log 3 is equal to log 20. Dividing through by the log 3. Typing that straight into the calculator and rounding to two significant figures, you should get 2.7. Looking at part C, same thing. When we're logging both sides, the x plus 1 comes at the front. So I end up with x plus 1 as a component being multiplied by log 3 equals to 20. Sorry, log 20. I've done it again. Log 20. So x plus 1 is log 20 divided by log 3. And what you have to remember is to find your x value now, normal algebra rules will apply, which means you need to move that plus 1 to the other side as a minus 1. So this would mean that I end up with x equaling the log 20 over log 3 minus 1. Type that in the calculator and you should get an answer that you could round to two decimal places. Sorry, two significant figures and that's something I'd like you to try. Let's have a look at part D. Same thing, logging both sides. I get 2n minus 1 log 4 equals log 7. 2n minus 1, dividing by the log 4 on both sides. So we end up with 2n equals log 7 over log 4. And then the very last step is to divide through whatever answer you have, because here that's being timesed by the 2. So you end up with... that n is equal to log 7 over the log 4, and all of this is divided by 2, and you should get something like 1.2, I believe. So have a go at those again if you need to. If you want to, you could always try the first method that we did here by rewriting each of these equations using the, the definition for logs but you should, in both cases, get exactly the same answers. I want you to practice typing and using the calculator for these and rounding your answers to two significant figures. I hope this has been nice and straightforward for you. Change of base is just as easy as that, and we'll practice some more questions to familiarise yourself and get a bit more confident.